Hello. He's so plain. Hello. That's better. Is that what you want? Yeah. Uh, Wouldn't you guys like that every day? No. Okay. So as you all know, my friend Psycho Sarah is living with us right now, and her daughter Skylar is 36 weeks pregnant. She has been hospitalized for three days now, I believe, two or three days. She is in a lot of pain. She's been going through some pretty serious stuff. The baby is sitting on her bladder um, and cutting off the function of the bladder, which in turn has her kidneys swollen, which is making everything in her body swell. So she is still in the hospital. If we can all possibly please send some thoughts and prayers her way, we would greatly appreciate that. So thank you. Okay, and now it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. I hope you guys are all liking the way we're doing our shoutouts now. And, uh, what? I was agreeing with you. Oh, I thought you were like, oh, God, she keeps talking. I, I go, the head goes up and down. Means yes. If I go this way, it means no. Really? Is that what it means? It's apparently you weren't going to get it. Okay. Well, anyway, Walt Waters Wife Vlogs. Oh! Come to the neighborhood. And she likes shout outs. We used to do our shout outs a little differently. We did our shout outs at the end of every vlog, which was making our vlogs very long because, as you can tell, he talks a lot. <laughs> I'm Silent Bob. <laughs> so, we decided we were going to try, because we just hit our one year anniversary. We decided we're going to try and do our daily vlogs and a shout out vlog every day and see how that goes. So, Water's Wife's vlog, hopefully you will follow along and hopefully you'll like what we do. Tammy Alexander, Tammy Alexander, sorry. <laughs> Tammy Alexander, um, you are a nerd. She has a box of Buffy the Vampire Slayer cards and X-File cards. And she doesn't have nearly enough X-File cards. And she is very excited about the new X-Files. I didn't know they made cards for shows. Oh, yeah. I was a big Beverly Hills 90210 fan when they were out. And they had cards for that. And I collected those. His mojo, in case you were wondering. Ah, yeah, my little mojo, my Make, little mojo. Making sure Boomer doesn't see me. Yeah. Petting <laughs> mojo, or I'll be in trouble. Okay, my question yesterday was, what, how, how did I say it? I don't know. What part of your daily routine could you not live without? Is that what I said? Yes. Okay, that's what I said. Okay, and we had some pretty interesting ones, okay? Uh, Greg Myers, can't live without his Yu-Gi-Oh cards and video games. I guess he does plays those every day. I, some people must. Um, I, I, I love this one, and we had one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. We had eight of them. They can't live without YouTube and watching the neighbors. Aww. Love it. Keep it up. Okay, so uh, this one was interesting. Cajun Tinkerbell. She says she can't live without going number two. And I think none of us can live without going number two. Ah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Ow, you're scratching me. You're digging your claws into my leg. Who really does that to me? She, first of all. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tammy Alexander can't live without her Dr. Pepper, YouTube, 
watching us, and spending time with her animals. Portland Creek Diaries needs her morning coffee and an hour of quiet time before the crazy starts. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds something I can relate to. Yeah. Coffee. I have to wake up. I don't let him. Sometimes. I love my singing monster says he can't live without clothes. You can live without them, but probably be uncomfortable. Well, it all depends. I mean, if you're in a nudist colony, who knows? Crimson Fairy can't live without coffee. I hope it's decaf. <laughs> you're not allowed to have caffeine. Terry Johnson playing no. games and watching. Okay, she's not just us. Watching The Neighbors, Nikki and John, La Lady Dottie, Lady Dottie, The Shaytards, and Casey Levere. Huh. BMBFs, Coffee, Watching The Neighbors, The Bawdens, Mom's Vlog 80, Nikki and John, The Buck Stop, and Hot Chicken. Hot Chicken. Yeah, mm -hmm. me either. Cole today. I used to be like this too, Cole, um, until I wasn't able to get like out of bed every day. Um, cleaning the kitty lock, kitty litter boxes every day. I used to go around and scoop them two or three times a day, and we have five, five or six. We have five. We have five kitty litter boxes, and I used to make sure every day, two or three times a day, I scooped them. As soon as I knew one of the cats used one, scoop outside. Kane was taking care of that for the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, but Kane went back up to Big Bear to stay with his Auntie Faith and to play with Dr. Pepper for a little while. Um, and Cole was also one that can't live without her computer and watching the neighbors. Trans Am girly, she can't live without her cell phone because her cell phone does everything for her. She keeps her agenda on her cell phone. She uses her cell phone as her computer. She watches the neighbors on her cell phone. And Frankie Laverne said she can't live without her iPad. So, my question for today is that, a two part. Is that it? That was it. All right. That was all of it. Meow. Yeah. See? Mojo has something to tell you. What do you want to say, baby? What do you want to tell people? Get the little Mojo. Say hi, Nikki. Hi, John. <laughs> All right. Okay, so my question for tonight is a two-part question. Two-part. What, if you could be, and not in an already existing one, you have to make one up. What superhero would you be and what would your powers be and it can't be an existing superhero I want you to make one up beard man <laughs> and what would your superpowers be with your beard uh, storing food for the future that's right <laughs> you scared Mojo sorry Mojo it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Okay, so last night's question was about Ed Wood movie, which was um, Night of the Fools. And um, I think I got one of my dates wrong, but um, uh, I, I said it was released in 87, and a lot of people um, put 87 as well. I um, realized that it was probably released in 83 when he um, um, uh, got a hold of the movie. So, just wanted to clarify that. So, uh, those people who got the question right was Tanya Longley, Terry Johnson, Nicole Today, Greg Myers, and Bambi Yes. Yay! Okay, so today's question has to do with the movie The Craft. 1996, Nev Campbell, Robin De Tunner, Tunney, is her name Tunney, um, and, and Perusa Bulk. Can I ask a question first? Yes. Did 
did Nev Campbell do the craft before she did all the screens? No, actually she did it afterwards. Really? Okay. Just just a question. No, uh, uh, all these people were active, were very active already, and they're playing teenagers when they were all in their 20s. In fact, I think you know, one of them was in their 30s when they were a teenager. But the question is, why was Robin Tooney, I, I probably spelled her name wrong, why was she, she was wearing a wig through the whole thing. Why was she wearing a wig? There you go. There you have it. There is your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there watching us, sitting here doing what we're doing. What are we doing? We're going to make a heart. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. <laughs> and we will see you all tomorrow. He needs shoulder surgery too. Well, I already had mine. He needs it again. <laughs>